my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought we would do some more tiered tray decorating. I have had several requests to do more tiered trays videos, so that is what we're going to do today. Now, today's is not going to be seasonally or for any specific holiday. It's more going to be just everyday decor, it's things you can keep out year round in your home if you are into the whole seasonal switch out, which I kind of do a little bit of both. But anyways, I have three different types of trays or stands that I thought I would share with you. I also have some tips and tricks I'll kind of share along the way of different ways I like to style things and things I'm always looking for as I'm out and about. But if you watched my latest Amazon video, I did share this new tiered tray that I had ordered and I cannot wait to decorate it. I actually already have one of these in the wood color and I love it, I'm obsessed, and I wanted to get it in another color. That's just how I roll. So <laughs> we're going to be styling this one. This is like a, I would call this a large tray. It's a very good size. You can use it as a centerpiece for your table. Also on like an island or peninsula, it also looks really pretty. Today we're going to be styling this to go in my kitchen, kind of back in that dark corner. I have a light, it's not super dark, but back in like the little nook of the countertops in our kitchen is where I'm hoping to style this. We're gonna fill this with some fun kitchen items as well as just some decor. So that's the first one we'll work on. The second one, is this little, it's kind of like a mini tear tray. Now this I actually purchased back in the fall from the Target Dollar Spot and I love it. It's been in our laundry room ever since or our mudroom area. And I did see that they actually just came out with the same exact tray in their spring or Easter line that's just hitting the store. So I thought this would also be fun to style. Maybe just give you a few more ideas if you're able to score one of these. So we'll do this one for my mudroom area. And then the last one, if you watched my Hobby Lobby Shop With Me video, I had like a big tiered stand that was sitting on the floor behind me. We're also going to be styling that today and that's also going to, I guess, go back in its place where it was by the front door. I've been collecting things for tiered trays for a few years now. I have quite the stash, but this is what I'm hoping to use for today's video. I like to have things in different sizes, shapes, textures, colors, mini signs, of course, are my favorite. A lot of these come from the Target dollar spot, but I have gotten into making my own with my little Cricut Joy, so that's exciting. Mini houses from the Target dollar spot. I just shared this little truck from the Hobby Lobby Spring line. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's actually from the Easter section. Just some wood slices. Now these are great for breaking up your colors. If you have like a white table or a white house on a white tray, sometimes it's nice to break it up with just a different texture. So these are great. You can find the little wood slices in the crafting section at Hobby Lobby in like the wood area. They come in just like a little bag of them. They're perfect. Mini plants are always great. Target Dollar Spot, Target Hearth and Handline, TJ Maxx, you know, all those kinds of fun places. So little plants are also great. Love these two. This was, I believe, part of the Hobby Lobby Spring years ago. I'm sure they still have it, but I just like how I can flip it around and there's no words. Good filler item. These are new. These are from the Magnolia website. I have had my eye on these for a long time. They finally came back into stock and I'm like, I need them in my life for my tiered trays. They're so cute, but I need to elevate the different measuring cups. These are also from Magnolia, not in the best condition. I can't say I would recommend them. They haven't really held up very well, but they're salt and pepper shakers, so perfect for like a functional tiered tray in the kitchen. So we got those. My friend has an Etsy shop. She actually makes these little cutting boards. They're so cute. She made me a few that are just kind of plain like this and also some monogram ones. So pulled one of those out. Wooden spoons. These are both from Hobby Lobby. This is actually a creamer. It just reminded me of like a little cute pitcher. I actually thrifted it from Goodwill a while back and it just kind of, you know, moves through my tear tray rotation. Decorative balls are also great to have. Candles are great to have. This one is from Kirkland's. And then some larger items as well. Now this was from the Target Dollar Spot. Again, this one was back in the fall, but it's definitely something I could use year round. 
but it's just really nice to have, you know, different shapes, sizes, and things to fill in. And then and this is from the Hobby Lobby. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's kind of like the wall, by the wall decor mixed in with some of the artwork and stuff like that. So lots of fun things to work with. We're going to get all of these items on both of the trays I just shared with you. I'm going to start with my new white tier tray and just fill in with some of the larger pieces in the back. This tray, you will not be able to see it from the back, so it doesn't need to necessarily look pretty, but you still want the tray to look full without looking cluttered. So this is where some of your, like, your larger pieces are very valuable. So I'll do that for now. And then my plant, it could either work on the top. Whenever I add things to the top of my tree tray, I don't like it to go higher than the handle. I like that to kind of be my, the highest it will go. So it works here. I'm gonna try it down here and see where it ends up. trucks aren't everyone's thing but I just love them and of course with having lots of little boys in our house they like it too so it's just kind of a fun little addition I don't even know if I'll put anything in the back like I think it's cute just as is but we'll see what else do we need I have my measuring Okay, so here's an example of where my measuring cups are too big, but I really want them to be up here or over there. Either way. This is where some of your little wood slabs will come in handy because they help raise it up a little bit. I think I might need another one. Here. I'm also picky with words. I don't want things with words on both sides. I like to kind of mix them up. does have these wooden spoons in the spring shop right now. But a good piece that you can use year round on your trays. So I have a lot of weight going on, that's not going to work. spoons but I really don't think the tray needs it I'm trying to think if I want to do it I 
I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to leave my little mini spoons off for now. Tiered tray decorating definitely takes time. <laughs> so you just gotta move things around until you're happy with them. from a different part of my decor, but this is a little sprig. You can find it at Target in the Hearth and Hand line. I just kind of bent the stem, and I, I just need a little pop of green up top, I think. So I'm gonna try to just like stick it in naturally. These are very bendable, so it doesn't get too high where it hits my cabinets because it's going underneath them. But I just, I need a little greenery up here. going to leave it. I do like that it has more white than any other color because our backsplash and our counters are dark. If you've been with me, you know it's just dark. And so I really feel like this is going to brighten things up in my corner. But the greenery is just what we needed up top. Love it. It's so cute. And this is totally something I could leave out now for months and be totally happy with it. On to my little mini Target dollar spot tray. So this tray is going in our laundry room, mudroom area. It's a combination room. But I thought, you know, a standard piece that I always put on my trays, a little house. This one does light up, although I just don't ever turn it on. But it's kind of marked up. I might go grab my magic eraser really quick and see if I can't get some of those little scratches off. See the marks there? Yeah. I'm thinking it will come off. Now it's all wet looking, but it did come off, so we'll let it dry. Yeah, you'll want to stay till the end so you can see the final looks on all of the trays, but there we go. Okay. Now these are little $5 plants that you can find at Target right now, and I love the color of them, the green. I love the bold green. I also shared some off of Amazon that are more of like a dustier lamb's ear type texture and look that I also love, but I'm gonna put those in different parts of our home for spring. So I'm not going to share those today, but I think this is kind of cute because the, the leaves kind of go around the handle of the tray. So we're gonna try that for now. I'm actually going to use my sugar canister on this, which is strange, but I'm just going to flip it around so you cannot see the back. Now I could take my Cricut and make something really cute to go in here, but I don't need to. I just want it to be a plain white, more like a big filler piece in the back. Let's talk signs for a minute. So I was going to actually make one with this black one behind me. I actually took apart one of my old ones that I wasn't going to use and flipped it around and it created kind of like this really pretty black background piece. There's the other side. It's an old sign I tore apart. I haven't glued it yet together, but I should. But this is going to be, I think, like a background 
for a sign that I already had. This one was for a dollar, I believe back 2019, the fall of 2019. But it's perfect, I think, for our mudroom area. That's like our main area. This tray, Let's see if I can get it to stay. Kind of something like that. Yeah, that's not bad, I like that. But I need something right here to break up my white. Napkin rings, they are one of my favorite little things to add. You can either stick them underneath things to give them a little boost, or you can prop them up and they look like a little mini wreath. So I think that's what I'm going to do on this one. Just like prop it in here between my sign and the canister. And then I'm thinking I'll need to move. I don't like to have two whites, especially in the same size, on the same side. So I'll probably end up switching those around as well. So I'm gonna take a magic trick here. I'm going to move on to my final tiered stand. However, I may add something right here. I'm not sure yet, I can't decide. It's usually good to decorate in threes, but I also don't want it to look cluttered since I already have a good amount of things on the bottom. So I'm going to think about this one, but I'll share with you at the end of the video if I do anything else. If you hear any snoring in the background, it's not me. This is the final stand I'm going to be decorating today. And I've actually had this for a year or two, but it's from Decor Steals. It's currently sold out, but I will link it. You can join the wait list. And I'll see if I can't find anything very similar or even the same thing that I'll also try to link down below in the description box. So check out anything I'm sharing down below there that I can. But, so this one has kind of moved around in our downstairs area, but I'm finally bringing it up here. I've never really styled it for on our main floor. So we're gonna try it out, but I have like a little nook by my entryway table that I thought this would look really cute in. And it's a large tray, if you can't tell. It's more of a stand. It's almost like, oh my goodness, two and a half or three foot tall. It's a pretty good size. But I don't want it to feel too cluttered. So I'm going to try to use some larger items, not necessarily smaller pieces to fill it up and we'll see what we come up with. I'm going to start with this home sweet home sign. I've had this, but it's from Hobby Lobby, just in like their sign area. It's on like an end cap, but I took it off. I, don't, I can't tell you much about it, but it's just a black metal sign. And I think I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna start with my sign. So one sign off to the side. I'm going to break out one of my cloches. This is the larger one of the set. You can find them on Amazon. Also link down below, but I think it'll fit. It's a little dirty, we'll just rotate it. We'll call it good. Put it back. Okay, so now I need to find something to go in the cloche. I found a candle that I think I might use and because it has words on it, and I also have a sign, I think I'm just gonna rotate it around. I thought about maybe doing like a cricket decal on it to say like, cozy or welcome, but like I said, I just don't wanna have a lot of words, so I'm going to just leave it simple. And then I think I'm gonna have to take it off to put the lid back on. Gracefully without breaking anything. With my decorating, I like to do black, wood tones, white, and then also just like a pop of greenery. So this shelf is almost done, but I do think it's missing just a little bit of greenery. However, I do not wanna cover up my words. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I have this little succulent, it was from the Target Dollar Spot. I don't wanna use the planter it came in though, or the pot. It's just stuck in foam, I think I'm just gonna 
pull out this little succulent and prop it under my tray. Something like that and then take that away. So we're going to try that for now and I'll probably adjust it once I get everything decorated, but I think that's all I'm going to add on this level. If you watched my Hobby Lobby video, I bought one of these little decorative balls. You find them in the home decor area. This is the larger one. I bought it specifically for this tray. But I wanna put it on this side, opposite, black opposite. Yeah, and I think a plant would be cute on the bottom. I'm going to add another hearth and hand plant. The ones they have right now in the store have the gray pots, which I think is cute. But since I'm putting it on gray, I'm going to add something to have it sit on to make it pop a little more. I have, this is actually the lid of an old candle. I tossed it because I burned it, but I was like, oh, I think this could make like a cute little riser. It's just like a circle piece of wood. So I think I might set the plant on top of this to elevate it and then also separate my grays. work and then every once in a while I will pull out these two little candlesticks candle holders they're from Hobby Lobby a few dollars a piece is it when they're on sale but they do kind of make good filler items for tiered trays as well and I don't want to add too much so I'm not even going to put candles in them just like a little accent I think that'll work. Here's what we have so far. Now the top. Since I have a home sweet home sign, I must add a house. This one, I think Christmas Target Dollar Spot. They come out with them every season and I try to grab one if they're like a unique size. This one is a little bit wider, so I liked it for that reason. So I'm gonna prop that up. And then I was so excited. I finally, this past weekend, I made it into a local shop. I've been wanting to get there forever and I found some cute things, just some small items. But I found this little brick mold. She did, I was looking for a double, but she only had a single. So I went ahead and grabbed it. But it's going to be perfect, I think, for my wood tone on the top and have it like go behind this house like that and then I just need something to stick in it which is why I really like it I saw some cute things over the Christmas time where people would put like a Christmas tree in it and that looked adorable but I think I mean you know, it's not Christmas right now but she also had these cute little pom-pom picks so it's just something unique it's not another hearth and hand plant and I just like they're kind of like they're floppy, right? They're just kind of fun. So I'm just gonna bend one and see if I can't make that work. I bought a couple of these. I'll share with you in my spring video where the other ones end up. But I just thought they were so fun. There's definitely some spots that I could add more, but like I said, I don't want it to feel too cluttered. I feel like, in my opinion, there's just the right amount. So I'm going to move this to its home and I'll share with you what all of the tiered trays look like. today's video thumbs up for tiered tray decorating make sure you are subscribed we have lots of spring decor 
on the way. But thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.